All right, let's go. Breakfast with the endorsement. If you watch the channel enough, I don't do breakfast that much. I'm still on that little uh, intermittent fasting. I don't normally eat till after uh, 12 noon, but I just reviewed, drop the phone. I just reviewed the um, Philly cheesesteak Angus thick burger over at Hardee's and notice that they also have it in a breakfast burrito. So it is the Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. It's in this bag from the folks over at Hardee's, not Arby's. A lot of times when I do an Arby's review, I do a uh, Freudian slip and say uh, Hardee's. And sometimes when I say Hardee's, no, you, you get what I'm saying. See, I'm already messing with my mind, but we're going to check out this burrito. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, here it is. Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. We are gonna check it out. I'll tell you everything that's going on inside this burrito. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. Let's just see what we got. It's not, uh, I don't know. Uh, what? Okay. See, by the by the shape that was in the wrapper, I was like, this is an odd burrito. And it is coming from Hardee's. They don't do burritos much. But there's the, uh, there's the build right there. Just like draped over. What is happening, Hardee's? What is happening, Hardee's? Did I already say Arby's? That's interesting. Let's just take this out. It looks like a little purse. Looks like a little pouch. Look at, look at this thing. Look at that. Yeah. Definitely not burrito rolling 101, but it is hefty. It's and it's opening up. I guess it's opening up because it wants me to show you what's in here. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's fogging up the window, dropping egg all over the place. Let me fix this now and then I'll take a bite. All right, so we have the sun rising, so let's just knock this out. I tried to find a spot that I could get by with this, but it is what it is. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I just rewrapped this to get a thumbnail. You're not even going to see the product in the thumbnail. I tried to do my best. This thing was a mess. Oh, my gosh. I didn't do any better. Look at that. little cavernous hole right there. All right, so let's go. Wish me luck. The What is it? What is in this thing as the sun is now just messing up this entire shot? Oh, Lord. Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. Get a good start with folded eggs, thin sliced ribeye, fire roasted onions and peppers, melty American cheese, all wrapped as it becomes unwrapped in a warm flour uh, tortilla. <laughs> it kind of gives you a little... <laughs> Look at all this extra tortilla over here. There's no, let me rip that off. We're already into the video. Look at this. This, you gotta, if you're gonna give us this big of a tortilla, I respect the game, you have to fill it. That's just extra tortilla. And I just opened it up. Check it out right there. Yeah, that's what we got going on. All right, wish me luck. The Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. I enjoyed the burger so much, I wanted to come back and try this. Oh, that sun is just horrible. <laughs> this is like uh, Food Review 101, filming in the car 101. I saw that the sun was about to break, and I'm like, oh, I can knock this out in about uh, seven to eight minutes. I misjudged, but I could still, I think this looks okay. It looks okay. That's just giving you a little ambiance, a little breakfast ambiance. Let's go. Okay. Um, it's kind of dripping all over. Uh, the eggs seemed watery, very watery. Um, I don't know. That's um, cheesesteak, the shredded, uh, what is it, prime rib. I don't know. It doesn't have the same, 
It's not giving me the same vibe as when I had it on the burger. And it's dripping liquid, just dripping liquid. Very wet and I don't know. And then they throw like the, the cheese, the American cheese slices on the bottom right there. Um, I'll take another bite. Watery eggs, even though they don't seem to be watery when you look at them, the flavor's really not matching the flavor that I was getting with the burger. I think that had mayonnaise on it. This definitely needs like a salsa. I mean, it's a breakfast burrito, but I was trying to give, oh man, it's just dripping hell into the hand. What is liquid? Let me try to clog that up. Um, all right, let's take a bite. All right, so I'm on a battle with the sun right here, but I'm not a fan of that. I love that burger. Again, spoiler alert, if you missed that video, I will have it linked at the end of this one. There was just something off-putting. You should be off-putting. Um, name, name where that quote came from. I've used it a couple times. This is a really good uh, Coca Mocha latte. You can even see if, you, if the uh, sun. That is a nice uh, color, a nice hue to my Coca Mocha latte. And my Java Sock, not sponsored, one of my favorites. Um, of course, I use this because it's kind of matching the sweatshirt. I throw these little subtle matches. I don't know if you noticed that. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I wasn't a fan of that breakfast burrito. It seemed, it didn't seem watery. It was watery. It kept dripping. The steak was not very flavorful. The sun's bothering me. I'm not factoring that into the score. It just missed on a lot of marks. And also, I didn't tell you the price. It was like almost $8 with tax. Almost $8 with tax. I know um, because you're putting steak in it, they had to probably up the price a little bit. I think it was actually almost the same price as the burger, where you get the burger, you get the uh, steak, and then you get all the toppings on a nice burger with that uh, potato bun. Um, no, I, I can't endorse this. I will give it a rating because it is what I do over here. One to 100, that breakfast burrito gets a solid... 45. I'm going to give it a 45. I would not get it again. I'm sorry, Hardee's. I'm sorry you came out swinging with the burger, but this, and I'm not even throwing in the fact that it wasn't wrapped even remotely close to how it should have been wrapped. I can't wrap a burrito. I've tried. I've watched like tutorials and every time I do it, it just doesn't come out right. So I get it. But if you're going to sell it, you know, the employees got to get a little, a uh, little 101, a little burrito folding 101. Just saying. It was like a little purse. It was like a little man purse. But, um, all right, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. 